Hello everyone, my name is Inyi Mo. On behalf of the team, I'm going to show you about the compressa interferometry. First of all, I will talk about the challenge when we are dealing with the big data. As you may know, Sentinel-1 is free of sharks and massive data volume. This is good, but it's also the challenge for us because of the massive inside data or face information we needed to handle, particularly how to make sure the best way to explore such uh, big data for long-term monitoring. So are we ready for this challenge in the literature? Is this available or processing scam to tackle distributed target? However, this is a graph to work on the persistent target and to demonstrate it on the real applications. Our objective is to be the first uh, in providing a price for a short gap. I'm going to show you a feasible uh, processing change that we call the Compressa or Kamsa. I will focus on the Mexico City area to highlight its capability. Let's talk a few words about the inside time series technique to estimate movement. Over the past 20 years, many insert methods has been developed to improve face memory movement accuracy in the real world. The main problem is the atmospheric contributions. So the main um, formula for this problem is uh, that we need a long time story over time. Accordingly, we can define a stable gathering. For example, persistent caster BS and a good distributed caster DS. So there are algorithms already, but we cannot use directly on um, big data because it doesn't have efficient. We need a better strategy processing chain, for example, to work on the reduced data sets for distributed targets. The, this one is a good algorithm. In this work, we propose a visual processing change based on this estimator to account uh, for both persistent and distributed targets. Let's go into the details. First of all, we can um, we can form a complex a complex number from a small but original data set. We believe this is essential for long time study. For example, from a Stack n of 300 images, we can set a small batch m as 10. In the main function, the processing will then estimate the 10 optimum phases by using the phase linking technique. This link phase allows us to currently focus on a small batch and produce a single compressed image that can represent the 10 first images of stack. The same procedure will be repeated on the next 10 images and so on until the end of stack proceeding 30 compressed image. In the combination step, BS values at uh, these uh, multiple reference images will be extracted from the original set images and integrated into the compressed phase time story for the combination and this is only the 30 images. Now we will show the compressor technique for more detail. In the literature, the principal component analysis is a well-known technique to compress data volume. However, it's for to correctly incorporate the statical properties in the complex curve variance metric data because it is only a geometrical approach on the other hand, the phase linking is fully probability approach and hence this is better than a principal component analysis in the phase estimation. In this way, the compressors uh, can be calculated by a, a coherent summation of the normally linking phase and its original data. High upside give a small batch of 10 images instead of proceeding. Uh, processing 300 images, we do with only 30 images. Let's play with the simulation. We follow a well-known documented coherence model, um, which allows us to study a behavior of temporary coherence for this time. We consider the phase linking performance for three estimators. Small baseline is a, set a bandwidth time 
full bandwidth is the case of explores on time series data. The small batch is as as time for the proper Proposed compression. Finally, the theoretical performance is calculated from the simulated coherence. This figure is zoom version as reference scale to appropriate the visualization. A small space like yield a lot where a phase refer is visible with time. This is because the short term coherence uh, can be often based. The compressive estimator outperformance are the approaches by having a closest performance um, to the theoretical performance. The gain of the compressed estimator is due to the noise free in the shock life combinants. Let's go to the real application with Sentinel 1 data in the Mexico City. On the left, this is a traditional threat interferon with the respect to 670 days. We use a small bed at 10 images and produce its compressed interferon on the right. It's evident that a compressed interferon is a super quality and coherence uh, to the raw one. The average coherence is uh, increased from 0.4 to 0.8. This is mainly because the noise components of the data spatial are suppressed in the data compression. Therefore, the artificial interferon between the small best and less affected by the noise interferon and in general of higher signal noise uh, to ratio compared in the initial ones. We processed 240 images from 2050 to 2020 of the Sentinel-1 satellite track 143 using combined INSA this no compression and COMSA techniques. For the COMSA, we set a small bed at time resulting in 24 Isolated small batter. Now let's take a closer look at this result. A back main self subsidence zone is visible. To our knowledge, this is the first time we can see the spatial information for this not at the joint distributions we show here to facilitate comparison. A very strong correlation coefficient uh, 0 0.99 for the 6.8 million common. Mm, B cells is far. Instead of processing 240 images, we work on the 24 images and get even a better performance. Now I'm ready to summarize. We provide a concept which consider both persistent and distributed target technique to explore the unpresented uh, big inside data. We can learn from this method that compressor interferons are higher quality than original ones because the noise shock life components are canceled out. We demonstrate the COMSA technique on the mapping subsidence in the Mexico City, providing a promising tool in a long-term high-precision monitoring. Furthermore, to our knowledge, this is the first ever demonstration on Mexico City with this showing basal information in the NAS. Finally, if you have a good result in this topic, I'm looking for your welcoming your contribution in this special issue with a welcome submission until the end of this year. Thank you for your attention.